Hi guys, since many of you are asking whether a copper wire can be soldered back to the carbon brush from my other videos, I made this to try and answer that. Honestly, I don't know if that is possible because solder does not bond with carbon. However, I tried three different ways of attaching a copper wire to the carbon brush. But first, let's take a closer look on a factory manufactured carbon brush. This is the cross section of the carbon brush with the copper wire. The copper inside the carbon brush is bigger than the diameter of the wire. So when the carbon and the wire are pressed together in the factory, the wire sticks firmly in the carbon brush. Now let's try my method. We will cut this graphite to size and then drill holes where we will put our copper wires. The goal here is to ensure that the copper wire is well bonded to the carbon brush and that it conducts electricity. My first method was trying to bond the copper wire and the carbon using a solder. Although it has a good conductivity, but the downside is it does not bond well, and the wire just easily comes off. My second method involves using a super glue to bond the wire and the carbon. It still has a good conductivity because we fitted nicely the copper wire in the hole. The super glue provided a good adhesion to the wire but when I subject it to a high temperature, the glue softens and the wire can easily be pulled. The last method I decided to use an epoxy to bind the wire and the carbon. I know that epoxy have a high temperature resistance. Again, it still has a good conductivity and the bond provided by the epoxy is really good too. And then I test it with high temperature and the epoxy stays hard, making it almost impossible to pull the wire but still providing a very good conductivity. If you guys want to attach a copper wire to your carbon brush, be it manufactured or made by you, then I suggest using an epoxy. Thank you for watching and if you learned something from this or enjoyed watching my videos, then please like and subscribe. Thank you.